are talking Ghosts of War. This is a World War II horror movie with a pretty damn good cast here. Uh, we've got Brenton Thwaites, Theo Rossi. Uh, you've got appearance from Billy Zane, uh, Adam Alan Richardson. And uh, this tells the story of a small platoon of American soldiers that are stationed to go into this um, abandoned like, stately home, like a mansion in uh, occupied France. Now, when they're there, they're there to relieve some other kind of soldiers who are seeming to really want to get out of there pretty sharpish. And they discover that this uh, stately manor well, may well be haunted by the ghosts of uh, what seems to be the, uh, the victims of Nazi uh, justice, shall we say. So not only do they have to face uh, enemy soldiers, but they also have to face the paranormal elements that are in this particular house. So let's talk about, first of all, what works. I think a World War II horror story that isn't about Nazi zombies is pretty good. I mean, we've seen lots of Nazi zombie films. I actually kind of quite like them. But it's nice to see something different. I've got to say, I thought the cast was phenomenal here. I think the acting here is top-notch. I absolutely loved it. I think Brenton Thwaites gives a great performance as the kind of like the, uh, you know, obviously the, the ranking kind of person in charge, but still somewhat kind of young and kind of wet behind the ears here, a little bit of unsure of himself. And his men, although they're loyal to him, that they're kind of like, you know, they don't really feel comfortable having to kind of deal with that. I also really like the fact that they just accept that this place is haunted after a few you know, a short time there, the kind of, a, what we're going to do, you know, how, what we, we can't abandon it, we'll be sent to the kind of prison or whatever, but they're having to deal with this kind of like this, uh, these hauntings. And this kind of the ghostly stuff that we kind of see on screen is, you know, fairly kind of consistent. And we do see actually kind of quite a lot of it. The movie does rely on a little bit too much on jump scares, but nonetheless, um, there are also some, some, some creepy moments. And one of the things I quite like is that you kind of see things out the periphery. Um, you know, there'll, there'll be, you'll just have something, a glance across screen and you'll kind of see it there and then, then you'll look back and it's gone. It's a little bit cliche, but I actually think it was quite effective. And this, this kind of house that they're using, I think actually looks, looks pretty damn good. And even when we have our kind of our action sequences with the kind of like the, uh, the soldiers versus kind of like the Nazis and stuff like that. Um, you know, again, it's, it's done to a kind of a, a pretty good standard, um, you may be thinking it seems that they seem a little bit kind of overpowered. Uh, now, there may be a reason for that, and that comes to the third act. Uh, there's a little bit of, well, as I said a little bit, there is a twist that happens in the third act that will completely kind of change uh, what the movie is about. Um, I'm not going to give anything away, obviously, but suffice it to say, they're going, oh, that was, didn't see that one coming, and trust me, you won't see it coming. Uh, so... I have mixed feelings about that, blings, blings me into my negatives. I feel, although it kind of makes sense once you have watched the movie as a whole, you can't help but feel this seems a little bit far-fetched and contrived. Um, and when you're watching it, I feel until you get to the end, you, the movie actually asks quite a lot of you to pay, uh, um, to pay attention to. I feel this movie may be better if you have watched it a couple of times. It's one of these films where it will benefit from a second viewing because it does lay clues uh, through the movie, but uh, you know you won't be looking out for them. I don't think, to be honest, because it starts off relatively kind of simple, uh, and I don't. I just, I just don't know what I think about the the, the twist. Um, and then the okay, again, I don't want to spoil anything, but for the climax of the film as well. Mm, I don't know, maybe a little bit unsatisfying, I have to be honest with you. I actually think, had the movie um, been more, of a, it may have been more obvious and kind of more of a standard uh, ghost story or whatever, uh, in the kind of the, as it pertains to the kind of the first two acts, I don't know, I think I was kind of quite enjoying it as is, to be, to be brutally honest. I didn't know if I really needed this kind of twist. I was actually kind of quite enjoying the story as is. Um... Again, I, don't, I can't want to say too much about that because it, it does it, it really does be uh, uh, change the kind of conversation quite a lot. Uh, but I have to be honest with you, that's really my only real gripe with this one. Um, when the action sequences, as I say, you could arguably say that they are they they seem like there's way too many Nazis 
Um, and then the, the Americans seem to kind of mop up pretty easily. There is an argue, uh, argument to be said about when you see the film as a whole, why that is. Uh, but even so, uh, I, did, I think as to the logic of the movie that we see, it does seem a little bit far-fetched. Uh, and it, the only other thing I would say, yes, it, in regards to the horror, it, it's a little bit of an over-reliance on cliches, a little bit of an over-reliance on jump scares, you know, things like this, things kind of popping up. Um, but uh, it actually kind of reminds me a little bit of Resident Evil when it's all said and done. Um, that's all I'll say about the kind of like uh, the, the kind of the plot and everything. But it's certainly, even though I don't know if I hundred percent kind of like the twist, I gotta give it credit for being somewhat original. Let's just say that. So we'll give this one a seven out of ten. I do feel it's worth a watch. Um, have you seen it? What did you think? And without kind of giving away spoilers, what did you think of the twist? I'll be curious to know. Uh, 7 out of 10. Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.